Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through the setup process for the Android emulator on a M1 MacBook Pro 8GB of RAM. Uh, okay, so if you search for Android emulator M1, uh, it should take you to this link. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find this GitHub URL with the preview. And looks like this was the emulator dash M1 preview, and the actual official re repository is Android dash emulator dash M1 dash preview under Google's uh, GitHub account. Uh, so make sure you have the right one there. And I think for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, we're going to use the standalone DMG file. I think in previous, sorry, in I think in future updates, um, this has been made available within Android Studio. Um, and I think that should be equivalent to what we're doing here. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go and look up the releases in this repository. And it looks like V3 is the latest release. So let's click on that and um, download the DMG file. So I'm going to fast forward this because um, it will take a while to download 1.3 gigs. Alright, so once it's done, I'm going to open up the DMG file. And um, once it finishes verifying, we are going to um, try to I don't know, follow the setup steps for any new app that you download on the Android app. So I'm going to drag the emulator file into the applications folder. Um, this is me working through some permissions. I have to like, you know, go to preferences and security and kind of make sure that uh, the identified developer is allowed um, within this. And yeah, after a bit of troubleshooting, um, I'm able to actually open the Android emulator. So there we go. That's the emulator on the left. And I was just trying some ADV devices and it looks like it's able to, to detect the device. So let's open Android Studio. Uh, there's a specific repo that I've checked out. Um, again, this is an app that I've worked on in the last four years at my last job. It's been open sourced and it's related to healthcare. Um, so it's a fairly large project that's, you know, gone through several years of development. And yeah, let's just see how this works. Um, I'm just going to make sure I had a few lagging devices from previous things that I tried. So I'm just going to make sure I remove those virtual devices. Um, they won't work anyway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, there we go. So it looks like it's able to detect that virtual device. So I'm just going to compile this and see, I guess, number one, how long that's going to take and check the memory as well. So it looks like this is an eight gigabyte RAM MacBook. So it looks like it's using 6.2 out of eight gigs. Um, so yeah, there's not that much free memory. And I wonder if that will contribute to uh, slowness. So it looks like things built and yeah, there we go. So that's the fragment and yeah, so it looks like it. And I guess like first pass, it looks like everything works. Okay, and what we're going to do now is going to make some changes. So um, I'm going to go to the, I guess, whatever the screen is. So I think it's login, oh, authentication activity. And let's see what we're going to do. Let's let's just change some XML. So let's see where the user login is. And let's just change the copy of that to something else. So, um, so maybe let's just do user login updated and click play. And yeah, let's just see how long this takes. Okay, it looks like it took nine seconds. Okay, great. And yeah, there we go. Um, I think we should make a more complicated change. I'm also gonna type some stuff out just so you can see how long autocomplete takes and how long syntax highlighting takes on, on this machine. Um, yeah, so it looks like it took a little bit longer than, for example, like a like a Linux device, uh, like a Linux running Linux Android Studio on T14. Um, but yeah, there's like the highlighting, and yeah, let's just I'm just gonna look for another manager to inject. So let's do network manager here, 
Um, yeah, okay, so there we go. And I'm just gonna do this autocomplete again. All right, there we go. And yeah, let's just see, let's just make a few other changes, maybe. Mm, Let's just add like a text view to the XML. So it also give you a sense of like how long this takes with the design preview within Android Studio. Okay, took like, you know, five to 10 seconds. And yeah, let's take a look at, uh, let's see how long it takes to autocomplete within this. So let's add a text view. Okay. And let's just wrap content for both and, um, Let's give some IDs and some constraints. So let's do constraint. Let's do constraint top to bottom up. Okay, cool. And then let's just put that right below the update notification. And let's just give it some random text. And let's give it an ID so the container constraint layout below can be positioned relative to this. So let's do ID is some random text and let's make sure that is the right above the container and yeah there we go um, okay so let's run that and see how long it takes And I guess as I'm running it, I'm just going to click around, just seeing how file search works and the performance of it. Um, yeah, just like looking around different files. Um, as you can see, we kind of use uh, clean architecture for Android. So we have a bunch of layers for different parts of our code, places to put our queries, places to put our use cases, um, places to put our tests. So yeah, I'm just going to click around the emulator, just seeing how... Um, smooth it is if it crashes or anything like that so uh, let's just check email okay cool let's check and see if the camera works okay there we go so uh, okay allow okay cool so let's see if I can take a picture here all right cool so all right looks like Gradle filled up my build Grado finish building and that's okay cool so there's the updated code so yeah there we go so um thanks for watching hope this gives you a good sense of um what android development looks like and um, yeah if you want to see more uh please leave a comment below of you know what, what videos you want me to make and uh yeah again to support my channel i ask that you subscribe so yeah thank you very much and see you next time